I'm Elizabeth Fabian from the Penguin Random House Library Marketing Team, and my three and three staff picks this time around are all fantastic debut novels. First is Parish by Latoya Watkins, a powerful story about a Black Texan family exploring the effects of inherited trauma as the family comes together to say goodbye to their matriarch, Helen Jean, on her deathbed. Spanning decades and told in alternating chapters that follow four members of the family, Parrish tracks the choices of Helen Jean and how those choices have rippled across generations from her children to her grandchildren and beyond. As the family comes to say goodbye, this reunion unearths long kept secrets and forces each member to ask important questions about who is deserving of forgiveness and who bears the cross of blame. This is a novel of a powerful and moving family story like those of Jasmine Ward, Britt Bennett, and Tommy Orange. The next title I'm about to talk to you about is The Rabbit Hutch by Tess Guntry, a stunning debut about a quest for transcendence in a crumbling apartment building in the post-industrial Midwest. The automobile industry has abandoned Vacaville, Indiana, leaving the residents behind too. In a rundown apartment building commonly known as The Rabbit Hutch, the residents are now looking for ways to live in this dying town. In apartment C4 live four teenagers who have recently aged out of the foster care system. Three boys and one girl, Blandine. She's hauntingly beautiful and unnervingly bright and she wants an escape. Set across one week and culminating in a shocking act of violence, the rabbit hutch chronicles a town desperate for rebirth. How far will its residents and Blandine go to achieve it? And does one person's gain always come at another person's expense? The Rabbit Hutch is a gorgeous and provocative tale of loneliness and community, entrapment and freedom, and will appeal to readers of The Girls and House of Leaves. And finally is The Catch by Alison Fairbrother, an electric debut about a woman searching for the truth about her father and the secrets of her family. It's perfect for readers of Maggie Shipstead, Claire Lombardo, and Emmy Straub. Ellie Adler's beloved father, James, has children from three marriages, and he unites the family with his gentle humor and charisma. But Ellie has always believed that she is her father's favorite. When he dies suddenly, she's devastated by the unexpected loss. And then at the reading of his will, she learns that instead of leaving her his prized possession, a baseball that holds emotional resonance for them both, he has left her a seemingly ridiculous gift. And worse, he's given the baseball to someone the family has never heard of. In her grief, Ellie sets out to track down this person and learns startling information about who her father really was and who she herself is becoming. The catch is moving and witty and unforgettable. It's a story of the gifts we're given over the course of a lifetime from family and friends and strangers, the ones we want and the ones that catch us unawares. I hope you love these novels as much as I do. Thanks so much for listening.